Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I've got Carol with me. Hi, Carol. Hello. And uh, we are heading up to Aurelia to, Aurelia to do some chores. And uh, well, Carol wanted to go up and she invited me to come along. I'm like, yeah, it sounds like a great idea. Spend the day with Carol and, and uh, get some stuff done. Uh, I didn't vlog Monday, didn't vlog Tuesday. Both days were catch up days for the travel vlog. So yesterday was the last one. Uh, I watched videos on things that are kind of, I'm not educated on the drone. So there are things in, on the drone, like when you're, when you're flying the drone and you go to turn the drone, if you, you know, push the little lever over too quickly, it turns quickly and makes a jerk uh, motion. So there are things I needed to watch. So I watched a lot of videos, learned a ton, uh, like the two aerials, that you have on the controller, they need to be straight up and pointed at the drone like that. If they're pointed at the drone like this, that's basically like a dead zone and it, and it messes up the drone. And, and I never did that. I used to have them up maybe on a 45, just thinking that they're antennas, but they need to be flat, parallel, no, not parallel, perpendicular to the drone. And if you're losing connection to the drone, because I'm flying it over there, but I'm still facing this way, because I'm looking at the vi at the screen, you got to turn your controller and face it towards your drone. And then that helps with connection to your drone. So I learned a ton of stuff. And then I flew it. And uh, here's a bunch of shots I did just for you guys. I hope you guys liked those uh, little test drone footages. I hope you noticed that it uh, turned nicely and smoothly and, and it was no jerking motions. So Carol and I are going up to Aurelia because Carol's got a foot doctor appointment. And uh, I guess just after that, or while she's doing that, I brought the drone. I'm gonna get some cool drone shots of Aurelia just for you guys. But we're going to a thing called Mariposa Market. Actually, we'll probably go to the Mariposa after your foot appointment. Okay, so after the foot appointment, we're going to Mariposa Market, and I'll show you guys around. Cool? Let's do it. Carol and I just had a, a fun laugh. So I took a sip of my coffee, and listen. Oh, I didn't do it. I think I spilt on myself. Well, I think maybe because it's getting empty, but it made like a chirping sound. Let's try it again. And now it doesn't, it doesn't do, do it. it. Wow. It made like a chirping, chirping sound. And I, like it was funny because I sipped it and Carol was talking and it made that chirping sound. And I'm like, what the hell was that? Because I thought it was like a, something on her phone because I don't recognize that sound. And she's like, it was your cup. And I'm like, oh, you shouldn't have told me because I would have been like, <laughs> every time I took a sip, I would, I might not have, fi excuse me, figured it out. It was such a funny sound. You wouldn't think a, a cup would make that. Anyway, <laughs> off to Aurelia.
made it to Aurelia. Carol did her foot appointment. Now we're uh, here at this shopping mall. And they got to pay for parking. So it's a dollar per hour. Where it's only going to be here about half an hour to an hour. And uh, I just noticed that really cool clock tower. Probably one of the original, kind of like uh, Bracebridge. So it's that uh, possibly the original town hall or post office. It seemed like those were the buildings that they built in these towns. But anyway, Carol's just putting the sticker in the car and I'm gonna go into the mall. Check it out. First time. It seems they've uh, littered the streets with art and uh, so put these maple leaf flags everywhere and people got to decorate them. A lot of stuff on it. These ones are just painted or they put uh, textured things on there which is kind of cool. Huh. It's just this little area. No, they keep going all the way down there. So I was kind of thinking it was going to be like a, yeah, like an out, not necessarily outdoor, but a flea market kind of thing. But. This is a bakery, cafe, and shop right beside this. So they own that, that, and that? Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Ooh, nice. Look at the size of Three bucks each. Look at the size of that cookie. Yeah. Sandwiches. Pie. Philly cheesesteak. We're gonna do a chicken pot pies for lunch. Now just heat it up for you. I had that downtown Toronto. The size of those squares. Biggest it's brownies it's ever. Yeah. All right, this is what we bought. We got two chicken pot pies, a Texas donut, a vegetable beef barley soup with cornbread, a coffee, nest tea, and this is for home, cinnamon buns, home, homemade fresh. You ready? They might not make it home. They might not make it home. That's dessert, plus the donut. So we're gonna share that soup, let me tell you. I'm gonna have a sum of it. I'm sure everything's good. We'll let you know after we eat it all. All right, Carol, so what did you think of the pot pie? It was very good. Yeah, but we had one issue with it. It was a little bit peppery. Okay, Carol's issue was it was peppery. My issue was it wasn't uh, stewy enough. It was kind of, yeah, so it was, it was kind of dry inside. It's the ones that we used to get from a church. Like you cut it open, it all spills out, and that's the kind of pot pie I really like. This was really tasty, and I liked the pepper part of it. Carol didn't like it. The soup was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, zero problems with the soup. I had an Irish coffee, and I had to put sugar in it. But I tried to drink it without the sugar. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't gonna happen. And then the, uh, you really liked the donut. Because, like, although we like Tim Hortons a lot, they don't bake their donuts fresh anymore. It comes from a factory. They're frozen, brought to the store, unfrozen or nuked or whatever they do to them. Uh, this is a bakery, and they actually probably bake them right here this morning. So you get that fresh bakery taste. So uh, if you ever stop by Aurelia and you come to the Mariposa Market, get one of the Texas chocolate dip donuts. Uh, next time we come up, you wanted to try the 
the score, the score donut. donut. Yeah, so it's like score bar all broken up all over the top. But we bought this. I mentioned, I said, well, let's grab one, we'll take it home. She's like, we got this. And that's, that's a lot right there. That's like 10 calories plus 10 <laughs> calories plus 10 calories. It's a little more than 10 calories. Just a little more. <laughs> Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we did for lunch, and now we have to head home. Ready? Ah, uh, look at the log for your neck. Bear bomb. We have the one piece. Bear bomb. Thought we'd go for a little walk, work off some of that lunch before we go. This is Lake Kuchiching. What really is on Lake Kuchiching. This is the, all of obviously all the boats are out now because it's fall and, and uh, the water is going to freeze eventually. Uh, they have a nice biking path here, which is cool. It's the guy is feeding the seagulls out of his out of his uh, van, so they're all over his van. Anyway, so they got a nice one boat left in there, maybe two. And, uh, so we're just going to go for a walk and then we'll head home.